Thank you. You know, as Pat just mentioned, this summer, something crazy happened to me. I wound up in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And that was one of the great weeks of my life for many reasons. But one of them is, I spent most of my life not expecting to ever be in any Hall of Fame. And then the wildest thing ever happened. While I was in Cooperstown, getting ready to give my speech in that Hall of Fame, I found out I'd also been elected to this Hall of Fame. So if you're adding along out there, you know that adds up to two Halls of Fame in one week. I, I can understand maybe Bo Jackson getting into two Halls of Fame in one week, but I'm still in disbelief that that happened to me. I I'm just a guy from Northeast Philly. I dreamed of being a sports writer someday. And now here I am, I I'm, I'm blown away to be on this stage with this amazing group of people. People I've watched, followed, and admired for a long, long time. But I actually have a special connection with one guy who's not here. You know, the first general manager I ever covered in this town was Paul Owens, the Pope. And the Pope was awesome. He might have been the greatest general manager in the history of Philadelphia sports, but he was also an awesome human being, and he was so much fun to cover. One year, after the trade deadline, I saw him the next day, and I said, hey, you made it through another one. How are you? And he said, oh, not so good. I need surgery. And I said, what? You need surgery? He said, yeah. I gotta get this phone removed from my ear. I missed up Pope. I wish he was here tonight. You know, it's unreal to think that I haven't technically worked in Philadelphia since I left the Inquirer 19 years ago for ESPN, but I've never stopped being a Philadelphian. I love this city. I've lived most of my life in Philadelphia. I grew up reading the great sports writers of Philadelphia, and they inspired me to dream my dream. None of this could have happened without them. None of this could have happened without you. None of this could have happened without Philadelphia. So I'll tell you a story. Um, it's two days after game five of the 2008 World Series, part two. You remember what happened, right, in that World Series? So two days later, I take my daughter, Hallie, to the parade. And now the parade's over, we're trying to get home. We get on a Broad Street subway car. And a, a guy spots me from across the car. And, and I see him, he's bobbing, he's weaving through like a thousand people because apparently he needs to talk to me. So he finally makes it to this pole that we're hanging on. And he looks at me and he bursts into tears. And then he hugs me. We're on the Broad Street subway. <laughs> and then he says something to me that I'll never forget. He says, thanks for telling the story of this team, the way that Philadelphia sees it, not the way the rest of the world sees Philadelphia. <laughs> Again, I think that was the greatest compliment that anyone could have paid me, because I think there's one thing that we can all agree on, and that is that nobody understands Philadelphia better than Philadelphians. <laughs> Thank you to Philadelphia for always making me feel like I'm still one of you. Wouldn't be here tonight without you. But I also wouldn't be here without my friends and family who are here tonight. I don't know how to express my thanks to my unbelievable friends, Jerry, Gordon, Claire, Frank, you too, Jeff, I went out of the way to be here. Thanks to Eric Johnson and Eric Camille of 97.5, the fanatic, for their never-ending support. They're here tonight. And thanks to my amazing family, my sister Karen, her husband Alan, always there for us. My beautiful daughters, Jessica and Hallie, are here. So proud of both of you. Great to see the glow in your faces out there. And then there's my incredible wife, Lisa, my Hall of Fame wife, the 
greatest wife any sports writer could ever have. She put up with a lot. At least none of this could have happened without you. Thank you, dear. I love you. So thanks to the Philadelphia Sports Hall of Fame, and thanks to Philadelphia for this tremendous honor and for making my dreams come true.